So the question here is that there is a mass m on an inclined plane and it is being pulled by a force f which is which is a horizontal force and this force is making the mass go up the plane at a constant velocity. So the question is what is the magnitude of force if the mass is m and the angle of inclination is theta. So let's apply Newton's second law of motion over here which says that the net force acting on a body is equal to the mass into the acceleration. So let's go ahead and establish all the forces along x-axis and along the y-axis. And for this question, we'll take our x-axis as this and our y-axis would be this. And we'll have the usual notation where we'll say that all vectors pointing in this direction are positive and ones pointing in this direction negative and this is positive and this is negative. So we can clearly see there's one force mg acting in downward direction and let's go ahead and label that force as mg acting in downward direction. Now problem also says that it is a frictionless plank so there's no friction between the box and the plane. So let's go and establish all the forces along the x-axis as well as the y-axis. So to do so, we'll have to resolve force F and force Mg into their respective components. So force F would have a vertical component which would be this and it would have a horizontal component which would be this. And let's go ahead and label these forces. And if this is angle theta, we can say that this is also angle theta, in which case this force is F cos theta and this vector would be F sine theta. Now, we'll go ahead and resolve force Mg also in its respective horizontal and vertical components. Of what we'll find is Mg has one vertical component, which is this and it has horizontal component which is this and let's go ahead and label these forces as well so if this is angle theta this would be angle theta and this would give vertical component as mg cos theta and the horizontal component as mg sine theta now another force that would act on the body would be the normal reaction, which is nothing but the force that the inclined plane impresses on the mass and pushes it up in this direction. So this is the vector for normal reaction. Let's call this N. Now, now let's see what's happening in the X direction or along the horizontal axis. So we can see there are two forces acting on the mass along x-axis, one is f cos theta and one is mg sin theta. So we can write f cos theta as positive because it's acting in upward direction and the force acting in the downward direction is mg sin theta. So this is the sum of the forces acting on the mass along the x-axis. Remember here our x-axis is this and our y-axis is this. And this should equal product of mass and acceleration. But we've been told in the problem that the mass is moving up with a constant velocity that is zero acceleration. So this should equate to zero. And therefore, we should get the value of F as equal to mg sine theta divided by cos theta. Or we can say this is mg tan theta. Now, the second part of the problem is what is the normal reaction? So let's see what are the forces acting on the mass along the y-axis. We can see that mg cos theta and f sine theta are acting in downward direction and normal reaction is in the upward direction. So we'll write n as positive because it's acting in upward direction and we have mg cos theta acting in downward direction and we also have f sine theta acting in downward direction. And this should equal to zero because you can see the mass is not moving along the y-axis. It, it's stationary. So there's zero velocity, zero acceleration. Therefore, right-hand side would become zero, in which case the normal reaction would equal mg cos theta plus f 
sine. So you see the normal reaction is getting enhanced due to this force F, which is providing an additional component F sine theta in the downward direction. That's the reason Planck is pushing up the mass in upward direction. So you have mg cos theta, which would have been there on account of the weight of the box, but an additional force F sine theta is getting added on account of force F.